Hello, my name is Gary Taggart. I'm a registered independent, and I was a Republican but switched away from the Republican Party. You know, when I look back over the last 18 months of COVID, it has been devastating in so many different ways. But there, there has been some silver linings, and one silver lining in particular is it caused states to have to open up and make voting easier. I mean, they did things like increasing the polling locations, uh, encouraging mail-in balloting, uh, expanding the period of time for registration. And in all of that, the, the good news is what we discovered and found was that by improving access to voting, it resulted in record turnouts, never had a higher turnout than this last election, and with minimal voter fraud. That's fabulous, that's good news. You might've heard that voter fraud was a significant issue in the last election. and. You know, you gotta look at the data. Nothing could be further from the truth. After the election, the Trump campaign, they opened up 86 different court cases about voter frost, fraud, lost them all. And in the vast majority of those cases, the judge uh, threw out the case, either due to being considered frivolous or lacking any evidence. And a lot of those judges that made those decisions were Trump appointees, so they didn't, uh, you know, they, you might have thought the outcome would be different. In the highly contested states like Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Nevada, it was the Republican Party that validated the results and also confirmed low voter fraud. So we have, if you still think that there was voter fraud, let me remind you that we live in the United States of America. And one of the pillars of our judicial system is that even though I can believe something, um, I can believe it and I can believe it really hard, it still doesn't make it true. Just like I can accuse you of a crime, but I actually can't put you in prison until I provide proof. In short, in our country, you are innocent until proven guilty. And in the same way, the vote was fair and accurate since there's no evidence to the contrary. Even people like William Barr and Mitch McConnell, bulwarks of the Republican Party, they both said that Biden won fair and square. So given a fair election, why would we want to go backwards and provide more restrictive voting rights? It doesn't seem logical. You know, we have a long history in this country of wanting to suppress voting rights, particularly with people of color. So given that history, why would we want to do anything that even hints at disenfranchising a group of the electorate. You know, it's sad to say that those seeking to restrict voting access claim to do so in the name of voter integrity. And that's after an election where voter integrity was at an all-time high. In truth, often the motivation um, is a simple belief that if the more people that vote the lower chance the Republican Party has of winning elections. You know, that is a sad, sad, unpatriotic and unchristian and the antithesis of how Americans should behave. Making voting, voting easier, not harder, should be our goal. Thanks for listening.